Night 1, Christ Church Parish Schoolhouse. The schoolhouse, located in the historical district of Pensacola, is just one of the many haunted establishments in the downtown area. It is said that a little girl still haunts the site. Could it be from the two fires that destroyed this very schoolhouse? What is your history with the parish schoolhouse and how are you connected to it? All right, so back in the early 90s, I was working as part of the Pensacola Shipwreck Project. Uh, and we were stationed in the schoolhouse as our headquarters. But we always experienced was um, a smell, and there would be this kind of funky smell. It wasn't sewer, but it was just something odd. And if you yelled, it was like, go away, it would go away. Um, and if you were there by yourself or at night or something, you could sometimes hear what sounded like somebody walking up and down the stairs. We decided to check it out. This is where Taylor heard an unidentified man's voice. <laughs> this is where we heard an unexplained bang that is still unknown to us. Where's the ball? This is where we heard a man's voice answer old to Zach's question. Are you young or old? No. Oh my God! Oh my God! That is so cool. This next footage is where two group members were able to have a conversation with multiple ghosts. Is there someone with us in this kitchen? This audio sounds like someone may be saying, I don't know. Are you hungry? This faint voice sounds as if a man is saying no. Are you lonely? <laughs> this ghost was not very happy. Are you lonely? How many people are with you in this house, sir? Sir, 
who else is with us? You may have just got visual evidence. If you look closely as the camera blurs, you will see a white figure moving on the left side. Sir, who else is with us? Could this white figure be the little girl or old man we heard from earlier? As you can see, school's still in session here at the Old Parish Schoolhouse. To Whitmire Cemetery. The cemetery is one of the oldest and largest cemeteries in the Escambia County area. It holds graves dating back to the 1830s. The cemetery is so old that it is segregated, only to be separated by a chain link fence. A woman once noticed that the coffin of a 14 year old girl had been opened, later, leading to many other coffins to be opened throughout the years. With these bodies being dragged out of their graves, it is still unknown of who is responsible for these weird occurrences. Could it be the ghoul that is rumored to haunt the cemetery? The owner of the cemetery, Charles F. Creighton Jr., to get a better insight on the paranormal occurrences that happened within this area. We started by asking questions to see if any ghost or ghoul would reply. Who is this guy? Alex, you want to go provoke the women? Mary! Talk to me! Yeah? No. Have, do you have anything to tell me? I think there's still something. Harry! What's Harry? Up, is it Harry? What's up, man? He's yeah. sitting on your grave. <laughs> you want to say something to us? Talk to us! Tell Speak up! We can't hear you! Something. Are you trying to say something to us? If you're here, speak up. Do you want us to leave? Hey, where are you going? To the Whitmire. Yep, the Whitmire is right here. Oh, shit. I'm scared. Is anybody with us? And, I mean, maybe we'll find stuff, maybe we won't. Is the Widmire ghoul here with us? As it appears, we had no paranormal experience here at the Whitmire Cemetery. Could it be that not? They did not want to talk to us or that there really was no ghoul to be found.